Well, hi there, and welcome to Storytime for Kids. I'm Mrs. McCurley, and today we're going to read an exciting story that comes all the way from Tanzania. It is called The Ape, The Snake, and The Lion. Oh, be sure to subscribe. Let's get started. Long, long ago, there lived in a village called Kehi Jiji, a woman whose husband died, leaving her with a little baby boy. She worked hard all day to get food for herself and the child, but they lived very poorly and were most of the time very starved. When the boy, whose name was Movu La Anna, began to get big, he said to his mother one day, Mother, we're always hungry. What work did my father do to support us? His mother replied, Your father was a hunter. He set traps, and we ate what he caught in them. Oh, Muvula Anne said, That's not work, that's fun. I too will set traps and see if we can't get enough to eat. The next day, he went into the forest and cut branches from the trees and returned home in the evening. The second day, he spent making the branches into traps. The third day, he twisted coconut fiber into ropes. The fourth day, he set up as many traps as time would permit. The fifth day, he set up the remainder of the traps. And the sixth day, he went to examine the traps to see if they had caught much game. He took a great quantity of game with his traps, more than they could eat. And so he took the extra to the town where he sold it and bought corn and other things. And their house was full of food. And as his good fortune continued, he and his mother lived very comfortably. But... After a while, when he went to his traps, he found nothing in them, day after day. One morning, however, he found that an ape had been caught in one of his traps, and he was about to kill it. When the ape said, Son of Adam, I am Ni-Ani, the ape. Do not kill me. Take me out of the trap and let me go. Save me from the rain, that I may come and save you from the sun one day. So, Mavula Anna took him out of the trap and let him go. When Ni Ani had climbed up into a tree, he sat on a branch and spoke to the youth. For your kindness, I will give you a piece of advice. Believe me, <laughs> all men are bad. Never do a good turn for a man. If you do, he will harm you at the first opportunity. The second day, Mavu La Anna found a snake in the same trap. He started to the village to give out the alarm, but the snake shouted, Come back, son of Adam. Don't call the people from the village to come and kill me. I am Ni-Oka, the snake. Let me out of this trap, I pray you. Save me from the rain today, that I may be able to save you from the sun tomorrow, if you should be in the hell. So the youth let him go. And as he went, the snake said, I will return your kindness if I can, but do not trust any man. If you do him a kindness, he will do you an injury in return at the first opportunity. Third day, Mavu La Anna found a lion in that same trap that he caught the ape and the snake. And he was afraid to go near it. But the lion said, Don't 
run away. I am Simba, Kong Wei, the very old lion. Let me out of this trap. I will not hurt you. Save me from the rain, that I may save you from the sun if you should need help. So, Mavu La Anna believed him and let him out of the trap. And Simba Conway, before going his way, said, Son of Adam, you have been kind to me, and I will repay you with kindness if I can. But never do a kindness to a man, or he will pay you back with unkindness. The next day, a man was caught in the same trap. And when the youth released him, he repeatedly assured him that he would never forget the service he had done him in restoring his liberty and saving his life. Well, it seemed that he had caught all the game that he would get taken into the traps, and Mavu La Anna and his mother would be hungry every day with nothing to satisfy them as they had been before. At last, he said to his mother one day, Mother, make me seven cakes of the little meal that we have left, and I will go hunting with my bows and arrows. So she baked him the cakes, and he took them with his bow and arrows and went into the forest. The youth walked and walked, but could see no game. And finally he found he lost his way, and he'd eaten all the cakes but one. And he went on and on, not knowing where he was going, away from home or towards it, until he came to the wildest and most desolate looking wood that he'd ever seen. He was so wretched and tired that he felt like he would just lie down and die. When suddenly he heard someone calling his name and looked up and saw Ni Ani the ape who said, Son of Adam, where are you going? I don't know, replied Marula Ane sadly. I'm lost. <laughs> well, well, said the ape. Don't worry. Just sit down here and rest yourself until I come back. And I will repay with kindness the kindness you showed me. Then Ni Ani went away off to some gardens and stole a whole lot of ripe papas and bananas and brought them to Mubu La Ane and said, <laughs> Here's plenty of food for you. Is there anything else you want? Would you like a drink? And before the youth could answer, he ran off with a calabash and brought it back full of water. So the youth ate heartily and drank all the water he needed. And then each said to the other, goodbye, till we meet again. And went their separate ways. When Mavu La Ane had walked a great deal farther without finding which way to go, he met Simba Kongwe, who asked, where are you going, son of Adam? And the youth answered as dolefully as before. I don't know. I'm lost. Come, cheer up, said the very old lion, and rest yourself here a little. I want to repay with kindness today the kindness you showed me on a former day. So, Mubukla Anna sat down. Simba Kongwe went away and soon returned with some game that he had caught. And then he brought some fire, and the young man cooked the game and ate it. When he finished, he felt a great deal better. And they bade each other goodbye for the present, and each went his way. When he came to the road leading to the principal city, he saw a well with a bucket standing near it. And he said to himself, that's just what I want. Mm -hmm. I'll take a drink of nice well water. Let me see if the water can be reached. And as he peeked over the edge of the well to see if the water was high enough, what should he behold 
big old snake. Which directly it saw him and said, Son of Adam, wait a moment. Then it came out of the well and said, How don't you know me? I certainly do not, said the youth, stepping back a little. Well, well, said the snake, I could never forget you. I am Nioka, whom you released from the trap. You know I said, save me from the rain, and I will save you from the sun. Now you are a stranger in the town to which you are going. Therefore, hand me your little bag and I will place in it the things that will be of use to you when you arrive there. So, Mavula Ane gave Nioka the little bag and he filled it with chains of gold and silver and told him to use them freely for his own benefit. Then they parted. Very cordially. When the youth reached the city, the first man he met was the one who made release from the trap, who invited him to go home with him, which he did, and the man's wife made him supper. As soon as he could get away unobserved, that man went to the sultan and said, there is a stranger come to my house with a big, full bag of chains of silver and gold which he says he got from a snake that lives in a well. But although he pretends to be a man, I know that he is a snake who has power to look like a man. When the Sultan heard this, he sent some soldiers who brought Mavu La Ane in his little bag before him. When they opened the little bag, the man who was released from the trap persuaded the people that some kind of evil would come out of it and affect the children of the sultan and the children of the vizier. Then the people became excited and tied the hands of Mavu La Ane behind him. Hmm. But the great snake had come out of his well and arrived at the town at just about the same time. And he went and lay at the feet of the man who had said all those bad things about Mavu La Ana. And when the people saw this, they said to the man, How is this? said the Sultan. There is the great snake that lives in the well, and he stays by you. Tell him to go away. But Nioka would not stir. So they untied the young man's hands and tried in every way to make amends for having suspected him of being a bad wizard. Then the sultan asked him, Why should this man invite you to his home and then speak ill of you? And Mavula Anna related all that had happened to him and how the ape, the snake, and the lion had cautioned him about the results of doing any kindness for a man. And the sultan said, Although men are often ungrateful, they are not always so. Only the bad ones. As for this fellow, he deserves to be put in a sack and drowned in the sea. He was treated kindly and returned evil for good. And that is our story of the ape, the snake, and the lion. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe. And until next time, happy story time. Bye.